Why You Need the Dow to Be at 27,000 Today from Bank on Yourself. In the last decade, Wall Street lost more than 45% of your money twice. Are you confident that won't happen again? For the last two decades, you only beat inflation by a measly 1% per year. Was that worth the roller coaster ups and downs and sleepless nights? The top performing mutual fund of the last decade had an 18% annual return. So what was the annual return of the typical investor in that fund? Take a guess. The typical investor lost an average of 11% every year for 10 years. How is that possible? Well, mutual funds can only advertise buy and hold results. But what do we do? We humans are predictably irrational and motivated by fear and greed. We buy after a strong run-up, we hold our stocks for less than five years, and then we sell after they tank. Is it a myth or is it a fact that bigger risk equals bigger reward? Well, the fact is it's a myth. For the last 40 years, ordinary long-term treasury bonds have outpaced the stock market. Treasury bonds are what grandma buys so she can sleep at night. That means the only rewards that investors received for taking the extra risk of stocks and equity mutual funds for the past 40 years are sleepless nights and broken retirement dreams. Here's what Wall Street doesn't want you to see. Your retirement plan, powered by Wall Street, has actually gone backwards over the last 12 years. I don't need to tell you it's been a white-knuckle ride. In January of 2000, what was the value of the Dow Jones Industrial Average? You remember? It was about 12000 Since then, we've gone up and we've gone down, but in December 2011, after 12 years of the scariest roller coaster ride in recent history, we were still at about 12000 But before you pat yourself on the back for at least breaking even, consider what else has happened in the last 12 years. Prices have gone up 30%, so you didn't break even at all. If the Dow were at 14.8, you would have broken even, but it wasn't. It was still around 12,000, and after inflation, that 12,000 was only worth 7,900. Now, breaking even over the last 12 years would have been great, but you didn't invest your money just to break even, did you? You were hoping for a gain, and that's why the situation is even worse than what you see here. Think about this. What's the minimum annual gain you were hoping for in exchange for taking on the nerve-wracking risk and volatility of the stock market? 5%, 7%, maybe even 10%? Well, if all you wanted was a measly 5% annual return after inflation over the last 12 years, the Dow would have to be at almost 27,000 today to give you that. How long do you think it'll take the Dow to hit 27,000? Isn't it time to consider a better strategy with these advantages? Number one, guaranteed predictable growth and retirement income with no luck, skill, or guesswork required. Two, your plan doesn't go backward. When the markets tumble, your principal and growth are locked in. Three, you have control of your money without government penalties or restrictions on when or how much income you can take. Four, you can take a tax-free retirement income. Five, you can use your equity any way you like and your plan continues growing as though you never touched a dime of it. Six, you have peace of mind. Your family could even receive the money you intended to save if you pass away prematurely. And best of all, you'll know the minimum guaranteed value of your plan on the day you plan to retire and at every point along the way. Introducing the Bank on Yourself solution, the only strategy proven over 160 years to give you all seven of these powerful advantages. So, what is the Bank on Yourself method? Well, it's a turbocharged variation of a financial asset that has increased in value during every market crash, in every period of boom and bust, for more than 160 years. Dividend-paying whole life insurance. Financial entertainers like Susie Orman and Dave Ramsey may tell you to avoid cash value insurance, but a properly designed bank-on-yourself policy will beat the pants off your best saving or investing method. The bank-on-yourself method requires a dividend-paying whole life policy, customized with added features most advisors and experts don't know about or understand, 
and with a paid-up additions rider that significantly turbocharges the growth of your money, especially in the early years. And it requires an advisor willing to give up 50 to 70 percent of their compensation because 50 to 70 percent of your premium will go into that rider, which pays only a very small commission. The bank on yourself method gives you growth that is both guaranteed and predictable. So, what are your options? Well, for one, you could hope and pray you won't keep digging yourself into a hole. Just remember, if the Dow is lower than 27000 today, you've earned less than 5% per year since 2000 after inflation. And if it's way lower, you've earned way less. Then there's option two. Take back control of your financial future when you bank on yourself and know your money will grow safely and predictably every year. No two bank on yourself plans are alike. Your plan will be custom tailored to your unique situation and your short-term and long-term goals and dreams. Find out your bottom line numbers and results when you request a free no obligation analysis. It's fast and easy. Just go to bankonyourself.com and click the button. That's bankonyourself.com and click the button.